Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's video, I will be unboxing and reviewing September's subscription of Universal Yums. So, I am really excited. Let's get started. I have my pretzel socks on. So, I mean business. I apologize for the background noise. Of course, it stops right as I say this. Um, I usually film these on a weekday, but it is a weekend, so there's a lot of cars on my street, but what are you gonna do? So let's jump right into it. On the front, it says, The Birthplace of Democracy. It's your final clue before I open it. What are you guessing, Zach? We are tasting from Greece. Ooh. As always, it comes with a little map on the top to tell you kind of like where certain flavors come from and some facts about the area and the country. And then on the back, it has the Yum reward, so it tells you what snacks you got and you can place them in order of which ones you like best. It has a puzzle and a game from the country, and then under that comes with a little pamphlet. It tells you like cool information about the country, trivia. It has all of your snacks in here, and then it comes with a recipe. Greek flatbread, heck yeah. I'm gonna try that one. So yeah, and then it has the clue in the back, but we'll read that at the end. I'm gonna use this, as always, as my guide through the flavors of Greece. I see chips. The first one we're trying is Oriental Ceregli. Oriental Ceregli. It's a Serbi filo dough pastry with almonds and walnuts. Sweet. Let's try that one. I love filo dough. I just feel like packaged. It may be weird. They look. <laughs> they look like some sort of like intestine or some weird like bug chrysalis. A little dry. Oh, it's baklava. Okay, so it doesn't say. It tastes like there's like brown sugar on the inside with some walnuts, like in that, like really finely chopped nuts on the inside, and then the outside is um, really soft and flaky. Like I said, it's a little dry, but that's just probably packaging. Next, we have pesto basil breadsticks. <laughs> Tell me this does not look like a ginormous bag of chips. I don't know, I was expecting like a regular size bag. And then these little guys, it's like almost actual size. Bummer. Pesto basil breadsticks. I wonder if they're like in Gardetto's or um, is it Gardetto's? I think it's Gardetto's. Gardetto's. Those little bread pieces, it's probably similar to that. Yeah. The little puppy guys. Oh, they smell delicious. If you've watched my last videos, you know that I am savory over sweet every time. These are right up my alley. They're crunchy. They're seasoned wonderfully. Yes, Greece. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Next is a seren serenata finger. I'm trying to think of like a Greek accent and then I could like pronounce these with the right emphasis on certain parts. It's like that episode of The Office where Michael and Holly like pretend to be a Greek couple to hype up Andy for his like business lecture thing. Me rules. I am from Greece. I feel like I'm talking like Gru from <laughs> the Minions. I don't even know what accent that would be. Forget it. We're trying this thing. It is a milk chocolate coated wafer with cocoa cream on the inside. That sounds awesome. Yep, tastes exactly how you think it would. It's a chocolate wafer. Mm -hmm. I just saw my husband. We are on the corner apartment and our window is kind of like L. And I saw him turn the corner on his little Yamaha scooter with his skateboard in the back. So cute. I'm excited to try these. They almost look like sour cream and onion chips on the inside, but they smell like pizza sauce. Yep. These are delicious. They taste like Lay's. Have a, oh wow. Musto, musto coloro. Soft wheat cookie with grape must flavor. It says, you don't often use the word musty to describe good things. Usually it refers to an old basement or someone's dirty socks. Delightful. But we found the exception. These cookies are musty for a reason. They're made up with actual grape must. Hold up. What exactly is must? It's a thick mixture containing the freshly pressed juice, skins, seed, and stem of the grape. Did you just start? I didn't just start, I'm in the middle. All right. 
felt the lactose free. Okay, something that Greece does on their packages, they have like the serving sizes and all of like the nutritional facts and ingredients, but then on top, they like stick a sticker of the same exact thing, but in a different font. And it's kind of difficult to open the packages. Oh wow, it's massive. Oh, and crummy. It almost tastes like a very, very, very mild ginger snap, like soft cookie or like a molasses cookie. I don't taste great at all. Just spit all over me. Boring. Moving on. So our wafer, same brand. They're not a brand. Driplo. I'm probably not saying any of this right, but forgive me. It is milk chocolate coated hazelnut topped wafer with cream filling. It's a little redundant. This one's just hazelnut. Oh, literally drooling. <laughs> if you like Nutella, this would probably be the best thing ever. I don't love Nutella, so this is very okay. Our little yum bag that usually contains like little candies that you have a simple couple bag of, they just give you a few of them. We have a pomegranate jelly candy, and then Cocos Ozo flavored hard candy. We'll try the chewy one first. It's so cute. Whoa, that is delicious. Holy oh, smokes. Wow. It's like covered in like sugar. Oh, I wish I had nine of those. Yes. Yes. And now the hard candy. Ready to taste Greece's most beloved, most famous, most popular drink. I want this job. I want the job to write the description because this person seems funny. I like you. An iconic Greek flavor you literally can't get from anywhere else. How exclusive. It's a little ball. It looks like the top of like a dumb dumb lollipop. It has like that ring around it, you know? Um, it's almost like when you get like a mystery flavor, like pretty much like anything white. Licorice. That's what it is. Cool. Oh. And it's very black licorice -y. <coughs> Okay. Halfway through, I was like, I think this might be my favorite box yet. But then it kind of like, with some of the other stuff. I think it's the typical like 50-50. Like some of the stuff, wouldn't really want to try the other stuff again. Let's read the clue. Where we're headed next, the symphonies give chills. You can hear them in the opera house, the castles, the hills. But when you taste the yums, the music will be eclipsed by world famous chocolates and punchy red chips. Wow. I'm gonna read one trivia question and then we'll call it a day. Dylan! Yeah. Pick a number one through nine. Having blank was considered beautiful in ancient Greece. A, yellow teeth, B, two different colored eyes, C, dirty fingernails, or D, a long second toe. Got it. It's D, a long second toe. Well, I don't mean to brag, but my second toe, slightly longer than my big toe. Cool. Well, anyway, thanks for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed and maybe learned something new about Greece. Um, if you did, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I plan on posting more videos and creating more things for you guys um, and posting more frequently, so stay tuned for that. Um, check out universalyums.com and hop on board with this. Maybe get one for next month and we can connect and talk about how good or maybe not so good the snacks were. I would love to hear about that. But until then, I will see you guys next time.